the mapping w equal to e raised to z we have w equal to f of z which is equal to e raised to x plus i y or which is equal to so we know that w is equal to u plus i v which is equal to e raised to x into e raised to i y e raised to i y is equal to cos y plus i sin y since e raised to i theta equal to cos theta plus i sin theta so the real part of the function f of z is equal to e raised to x into cos y imaginary part of the function f of z is equal to e raised to x into sin y now on squaring these two real and imaginary part u square plus v square is equal to e raised to x the whole square into cos square y plus e raised to x the whole square into sin square y which is equal to e raised to x taken as a common factor the remaining terms is cos square y plus sin square y so cos square y plus sin square y is equal to 1 which is equal to e raised to 2x e raised to 2x so e square u square plus v square is equal to e raised to 2x now the image of x equal to c the image of x equal to c under the mapping e raised to z is equal to now put x is equal to c in this equation you will get u square plus v square is equal to e raised to 2c so it represents a circle with center 0 0 and radius e raised to 2c as you can see in this graph z plane so this is your z plane x equal to c the line x equal to c mapped onto e raised to 2c a circle in w plane center at 0 0 and radius e raised to 2c or simply i can write modulus of w is equal to mod w equal to so this is the circle mod w equal to e raised to 2c okay u is the real axis v is the imaginary axis in axis in w plane now next is the image of y equal to c under this mapping image of y equal to c see for that put y equal to c here you will get w is equal to u plus i v which is equal to e raised to x into y equal to c so cos c plus i sin c cos c c is a particular number so cos c plus i sin c equal to a particular complex number say for example if c is equal to pi by 2 or c is equal to 1 cos 1 plus i sin 1 so that is a point in complex plane in the w plane see so this is your cos 1 plus i sin 1 see okay now e raised to x into a point see suppose cos y plus i sin y is equal to the point 1 1 1 comma 1 say 1 comma 1 e raised to x into 1.1 1, 1, 1 comma 1 or 1 plus i is equal to e raised to x put x is equal to any value e to x is a real number for any x x is a real number e raised to x is again a real number so this number this complex number into a real number which is equal to a ray as you can see in this graph image of y equal to c is a ray okay so this is the end point end point of that ray and the end point of this ray is equal to e raised to x 
so there is uh, no endpoint it's it's up to infinity as if x is equal to x approaches to infinity the ray approaches to infinity so x is equal to 1 e raised to 1 into that point x equal to 2 you'll get e raised to 2 into that point x equal to 100 e raised to 100 into e raised to 100 into that point suppose if this is your point a point somewhere here somewhere here you just multiply this point with e raised to x e raised to x is a real number with uh, e raised to 2 you will get somewhere here a point somewhere here e raised to 3x you will get here e raised to 100x here goes on like this so it's the image of y equal to c is a ray under the mapping f of z is equal to e raised to z now consider the polar form let uh, w is equal to rho into e raised to i phi be any point in w plane then w is equal to e raised to z e raised to z is our mapping which is equal to rho into e raised to i phi so put z is equal to x plus i y so which is equal to e raised to x plus i y now compare both side rho equal to e raised to x and e raised to i y is equal to e raised to i phi so which is equal to e raised to x into e raised to i y rho equal to e raised to x e raised to i phi equal to e raised to i y or phi is equal to y now consider the strip image of our aim is to find the next aim is to find the image of this infinite strip x less than or equal to zero and y is between zero and pi so this is the line y equal to pi and y equal to zero x is less than zero so this is x equal to zero the line x equal to zero or the real y y axis so x less than zero means the entire point left half plane between y equal to zero and y equal to pi by two so this is the semi infinite strip image of this shaded region under the mapping e raised to z now as you can see in this graph rho equal to the radius is equal to e raised to x now x is equal to 0 that is the maximum value of x e raised to 0 is equal to 1 so rho equal to 1 that is the maximum value then put x is equal to minus 1 any point less than 0 that is minus 1 you will get rho is equal to e raised to minus 1 that is 1 by e which is a circle with a radius 1 by e circle with a radius less than 1 now if if you choose x is equal to minus 3 you'll get 1 by e raised to 3 a circle with radius 1 by e raised to 3 again it's a circle which is less than uh, radius 1 so as x tending to infinity you will get the circles which is lies inside your circle mode w is equal to 1 and there is no change in y y is equal to phi phi varying from y varying from 0 to pi so phi varying from 0 to pi so that is our image of this infinite semi strip is equal to the upper part of the circle that is the semicircle shaded region this is, this is the image this is w equal to 1 the circle w equal to 1 that is rho equal to 1 and rho equal to 0 rho equal to 0 is the least or minimum value of uh, this function so as extending to infinity e raised to minus infinity extending to minus infinity 
since x is less than 0 e raised to minus infinity equal to 0 that is the minimum value maximum possible t's of e raised to x that is rho is equal to 0 up to rho is equal to 1 so the entire points between this line x axis and the circle mode w is equal to 1 that is the image of this strip under the mapping w equal to e raised to z